I wanted to make a video on how we installed our zip line. We included this zip line into the construction of our treehouse. So the starting point of this zip line is up in a treehouse, and I'll back up and give you a shot here. Here's the treehouse, and the zip line goes from this tree over to the tree across the yard. It's not very long, it's only about 30 feet or 35 feet maybe at the most, probably more like 30. So to install the zip line, it's got these turnbuckles that are used on this end, at least this kit came with a turnbuckle. Let me see if it contrasts, there we go. The turnbuckle is included in this kit and it's in, you put this on your high end or the, the end that's higher, the starting point. It comes with a short cable that you kind of wrap around and lasso around a tree. The instructions say that the tree has to be at least 12 inches in diameter and you wrap this lasso around the tree and then through this first uh, end of the turnbuckle. I would suggest that when you install your zip line that you extend the turnbuckle out about like this is so that you've got just a little bit of threads poking out that'll allow you to adjust this and to adjust this you simply turn it and right now it's spinning this end too but if you have somebody to help you hold this one steady this will just turn and it will tighten and loosen the zip line which becomes very important when you um, are adjusting and testing your zip line to see how fast it's going so to figure out how high you put the zip line on the other end they recommend about a six percent difference in height so you want your ending point to be about six percent um, lower than the starting point You also have to kind of factor in the drop. You can see, hopefully in this video, you can see, maybe I'll zoom in here. But you can see the zip line is hanging on its own down there at the lowest point. And as I grab this cable and pull it, it can raise up quite a bit. So that's how we have it set up. We could adjust that tighter and make a faster ride, but kids were kind of hitting the tree down there hard. So Once you have this end put in and your turnbuckle put in, you're going to take this end of the cable that's all the way down there and thread it through your zipline trolley first and make sure if your zipline trolley is directional, make sure it's pointing the right direction according to your instructions. Ours has kind of a, a tail on the top of the, the trolley and that tail is supposed to point back at the starting point. So thread that through your trolley and then extend it out over to your other tree. Here's the trolley that we have. This is uh, slacker zip line I believe. So you can see that the back end is pointed. That should go towards your starting point or the higher point of the tree house or excuse me your zip line starting point so you just thread it through underneath the the rollers and then you come wrap it around your ending point and you'll see here that there's three if this contrast well there's three of these cable clamps on here and you want to install the one that's closest to the tree first we can get this to focus there we go these you can put on but just put them on loose in the beginning so uh, all of them get put on loose in the beginning I guess but this one's going to be the one you're tightening first so you wrap it around you 
you get your 6% figured in and put it at the height you want and wrap it around there and then stretch your cable out pull it through the first cable clamp and stretch it out towards the starting point and have maybe a couple of people help you and really kind of pull on it pull it through and pull hard get people with brooms pushing up on the cable to relieve the sag and that'll help you pull it even tighter once you get you get it pulled tight then you clamp that first one down and then add your second and third one and keep them about six inches apart and tighten them as you can see I've left the excess coil just in the tree there in case we ever want to move this and make it longer I didn't want to cut it off so I just left the coil hanging on a branch in there so I think this was a 70 foot line but we only ended up doing like I said about 30 feet so once you've got it tightened um, then you can test it with a brave soul uh, it says to test it with 250 pounds so uh, it can take quite a bit um, tighten it up if it's too tight if kids are coming down um, too fast then you can loosen it with that turnbuckle but odds are it's probably going to be loose in the beginning but then you're going to want to tighten it but you can figure out that and adjust it I will say one thing that I did is I didn't want to have this end directly right into the tree the center so I, I attached mine to a branch that was coming off to the side so that the kids would be able to swing a little bit past to the side of the tree and that has ended up working good. I mean they, they can put their feet to stop them against the tree but they're not slamming directly into it because the branch is coming out away from the center trunk a bit. So some things to think about. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Great fun treehouse and zipline combo. Excellent backyard adventure. Really not too bad. It took us six days to install and build and construct all of it. And I think the treehouse probably cost. It doesn't look like it, but it was about five hundred. It was about five hundred dollars to do <clears throat> everything, and we did it all ourselves.